Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So in this video, we are going to learn how to control and use your phone right on your Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. And I'll tell you what guys, this is the perfect device to be able to do this on. It's awesome. All right, without further ado, let me show you, let me show you guys how to do this real quick. All right, what you want to do is open up the Play Store on both devices and we're going to install an app here real quick. We are looking for a Samsung Flow. Okay, there's the icon for what it looks like. Go ahead and click on that, install. Okay, let's go ahead and do that on the phone too. We've got the Fold 3 here. Let's get it installed. We're starting from scratch. Samsung Flow. All right, we're gonna install it on the Fold 3. Let's go ahead and open it on both devices. We'll start with the tablet. And it gives you the option, connect to a phone and connect to a computer. Yeah, that's right. You can do the same thing with the Gal Galaxy Book Pro 360 as well. I'm going to show that in another video. But for now, we're focusing on the tablet. So let's go ahead and connect to, connect a phone. Um, you're going to ask for some permissions. You're going to need to allow a lot of permissions for this app because basically you're allowing full control of your phone onto the tablet. So just start accepting them while using this app. You see here it's looking for a device to actually work with. Um, but there's nothing here, so we need to open this. Continue. Once I opened Flow on here, notice what happened. Brian Z Fold 3. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You have two different options, connect via Wi-Fi or LAN, and also the option to connect via Bluetooth. I recommend Wi-Fi or LAN. You get faster connection speeds, there's uh, less latency, and you'll have a different, uh, a longer range. You can go throughout your entire house instead of being within the, the 30 feet or so that Bluetooth allows for. So to pick the Wi-Fi LAN option, okay. Now there's a confirmation code it asks you for. You see here on the Fold 3, you're just gonna confirm it here on the Tab S8 Ultra. We'll click OK. If you hear some background noises, sorry, it's real busy around my house. I got a couple kids and stuff, and I try not to let it stop me from shooting these videos when inspiration hits. So we have another confirmation for the code again. We'll go ahead and click OK. Okay, connection, Brian's Tab S8 Ultra. You have some more permissions on the Fold 3. Let's go ahead while using this app. It's asking for phone calls because you can make phone calls right from your tab. Um, to access your contacts, you can text and all that from your tablet. Um, we're going to go ahead and allow these permissions. All right. And you want to do the same on the tablet. All right. So what you see now is both screens look the same, right? So this is actually the default Samsung Flow screen. So from this point forward, we can go ahead and minimize this here and look closely here in the top corner of the tablet. We have this second most option right in the middle. I'm hovering the pin over it so you can see it's called Smart View. So you want to go ahead and click on that. Okay, start now on the Fold 3. Okay, let me go ahead and see about minimizing this. You see here, my phone screen is now on the Tab S8 Ultra. However, this looks really clunky, right? I mean, how are, how are we gonna use this? It's taking up the whole entire screen. So let's fix this real quick. What you wanna do is let's go ahead and you can go to your home. Now you see here, I've got the navigation bar on the Fold 3. That, that's not the navigation bar for this. I'm using gestures on this. So let me use my gesture to go home. We're gonna do this. And now what we can go, do is we have this open and we can treat this just like any other app, meaning we can open it in split view, we can open it in pop-up view, we can do all kinds of things with it. So let's go ahead and manipulate it now. So what you wanna do on any of these apps on the Tab S8 Ultras, you'll go up in this corner here. Sorry if I get it right, it's a little hard on the camera, you know. Um, okay, there we go. Open in split screen view, open in pop-up view. Let's, let's try it with that one first. Okay, so now we have a pop-up view of our phone that we can now move around and resize to whatever we like. And this is really cool if you don't really need to use anything on your phone, but you want to get your texts and your phone calls and you want to get your alerts because your notifications and all that will chime and come over here too. All your sound from your phone will come over here too. And also, I want you to look at this. You'll notice the screen is very dark on the Fold 3. After a little, a little while, the screen is going to completely turn off. However, you'll still have access to everything on your phone, on your tab. Uh, let me rephrase that. You'll have every, everything on your phone will be available on your tab 
without the phone screen actually being on. So this is great, especially for us Z Fold owners, Z Fold 3 owners, where battery life is an issue. We can now leave our phone on our wireless charger or wherever, and we still have full access to it right on our tablet. So you have this option of pop-up view. We can go ahead and change whatever we size we want and all that stuff. What else we can do is we can open it up in split screen view. And we'll pick another app on the other side to start with. Let's go ahead and we'll just throw up some YouTube. So check it out. We have whatever's on the Fold 3. I'm using the Fold 3. I go back here. I'm at my home screen. Check this out. We can, we can shrink it up. Now you'll notice that we get some black bars and stuff. The really cool thing about using the Fold 3 with this is that when you fold it up, it switches to the outer screen. screen. So let's say if I'm playing, uh, if I'm in YouTube real quick, YouTube stays open on me for both. The phone locked. So if we're in something like YouTube, and I go and fold the screen up, look at that. So for us Fold 3 owners, we now have our full screen right there. So now I've got YouTube on the tab here. This is a totally bad example. Let's, cha let's change this out. Oh, I don't like that. There we go. So now you see the Fold, sc Fold 3 screen right here. And, well, it's not a totally bad idea because what I want to show you real quick is... I'll just go to my own other channel here real quick. Let me just throw something up here. Just listen real quick. Check it out. Your audio and everything comes from your Fold 3 over to here. You'll just let this, let this sit. You know, YouTube has to run in the background, but other stuff, let's say for example, if I play some music, that can run in the background. That'll sit there and play on the screen without having to have your screen off. So now I have full control of my, of my Fold 3 right here on the tablet, as well as full control of the tablet here. Flip them around. Go ahead and pause that video. So you have all these great options. You can use whatever apps you want on your phone. Leave your phone on the charger. And we have so much real estate. I mean, come on, this is like the perfect device. I swear the Tab S8 Ultra is just killing it. I am loving this thing. I'm a weekend with it. I'm gonna do a full review soon. And I'm telling you guys, this thing is like set the bar. I didn't think anything could replace the Tab S7 Plus, but uh, it has. So there you go. Phone on the right this time, tablet on the left. We can mix and match everywhere. You can flip them upside down to be on top. Let's see here. Boom, phone on the top. Just like you would split screen everything else. You can even open up another app. Three apps in one. There you go, guys. You can uh, use your Tab S8 Ultra to control your Samsung phone. Another benefit of being in the Samsung ecosystem. As always, guys, thanks for watching.